Welcome back friends to another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Linz87 here and in today's video guys, Mr. Worldwide aka Pitbull. Oh wait, shit, that's rude. Rude just dropped live into the game. Oh my reggaeton. Uh, music listeners, you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. But Rude just dro dropped live sometime early this morning, right? With the JP side of the game, it is always early, like at 2, no, 1 a.m. At least my time, where, where I live, it's like 1 a.m. Last time I stayed up, stayed up till 1 a.m., right? It was Sephiroth's burst, that shit threw me off for like a few days. But Rude is here, we are getting a free multi-draw. Uh, I am planning on, of course, doing the free multi-draw. And I, I am looking to use tickets. I, I don't want to use my my jumps and I'll, I'll show you guys why in a moment so just just a quick view if you guys are not sure what what uh rude does here uh thank you rem for this for this infographic looks great it looks looks great so just the main things to take away from rude is that he is a bruiser healer pseudo tank like character so i just want to look at his main passives or buffs because that's where it's all at right so with both of his ability with crush hammer and material tactics he will raise his he he gets a buff called the turk way he will raise his own max raven attack by 40 percent and this will also raise the party's max raven attack by 20 percent but this will reduce the party's brave damage taken by 30 percent so there is that pseudo tank like aura built right into one in framed buff so you could stack up other wonderful buffs on top of this now again, Materia Tactics does have the same buff, the, the Turk Way. Resist boosts all his additional ability. Uh, just uh, raises the party's max brave, more overflow, and here's an additional 10% brave damage reduction. So with the Turk Way and Resist Boost All, you're getting a total of 40% brave damage reduction. That's that's a good chunk, truth be told. I mean, if it was 50%, it would have been just that much better. But 40%, that, that's a good amount, guys. That, that's a good amount. Now his EX ability, Grand Spark, he gets a buff called Fist of Pro. Now this will raise the party's stolen Brave Overflow limit by 20%. Now if you, you guys see on this banner who else is with them, it's Lon and Rain, and they need Overflow. And I was watching the trailer for this, and they broke the damage cap. I was like, wait, what the hell? So like 10, like 10,000 or whatever plus up there in damage, or no, much higher, like 100,000, whatever. It, if my eyes were, if I'm not blind, I saw them break the damage cap. So if you guys love using land and rain, and you guys have been trying them out already, let me know if you're you're up there with those numbers, because I was I was shocked. That was that was beautiful. Now, his LD combination arts uh, adapt, adapt arms, <laughs> adapt arms. It's still morning, guys. I had my coffee. I haven't drank it yet. Raises on attack by forty percent, critical hit rate by a hundred percent. So he's always going to be dealing a hundred percent. Uh, crit rate damage now C crush hammer will be his, his his summon his summon ability when another character you get him to what was it uh, level 75 bring him in he just uses crush hammer plain and simple and he will restore the party's hp by 80 percent. so he he seems interesting so if you don't have a healer or or, or like a, a healer attacker or pseudo tank person individual he seems all right but i will say though if you are not sure if you're undecided because i don't know about you guys but if you guys are a huge final fantasy 7 fan you guys might wait you guys might want to wait five days and 18 hours and 11 minutes just for this potentially other final fantasy 7 character right you guys might know you guys might want to wait and see what happens and if you get said persons clouds uh ld and burst then come back and do this one all right friends so that enough talk let's get into it let's do this here we go now the plans here i don't have land and rain i don't have land and rain's ex weapons so that would be that'd be a plus for me so to say i do have ex tokens from the all-inclusive ex token shop so if we can get his 35 cp weapon and his LD, we can just get his EX weapon. So, for free. <clears throat> okay. Yuffie. About to say Yuffie main confirmed. Well, I mean, technically speaking, I already have Yuffie maxed out. I, I have Yuffie's full kit. 
Sephiroth, if we by some chance we pull his burst, we're gonna feel salty because that means we just used up our luck compared to pulling for, for Cloud's LD and or burst. Right? And well, all right, friends. So let's go. So my plan is to go down to 300 tickets. All right. I'm not gonna torture you guys with full animations. If this was live, if I was <laughs> I was uh, live on Twitch, then yes, of course, anticipation. But I'm recording, and I don't want you guys sitting here for like five hours. So I'm thinking I might go down to 300 tickets, but we will skip out all the wonderful animations. Okay. And. Of course, if it's like a gold orb, we're just gonna let it play out. I don't think these things start silver anymore. I don't remember these things starting silver anymore. They just start blue or gold now. We, we can't get trolled anymore by the silver orbs. Rip. <clears throat> I'm gonna let this one play out though. That acted weird. Oh, yep, that's why. So we just got his 15 CP. There it is. All right, we got Mr. Worldwide. Very nice. So yeah, if it does act up weird for some reason, like the loading indication takes a little bit longer. There's still subtle hints here and there, like it. Sure, they come really quick. It just feels off. It could be like it just a. Uh, it's having a connection issue, or it could be that it's grabbing the data. So all right, guys. So we're getting. Some some power stones, okay. That's that's not bad. So, hi, how you guys doing? How's life? How's life treating you guys? How's quarantine life treating you guys? I haven't lost my damn mind yet, so that's that's for sure. Is this a troll? Yo, <laughs> we just got okay, fifteen and thirty-five. So that's nice. So all we need now, we need his LD, right? Because thanks to that all-inclusive EX, EX token shop, we can get his EX weapon from there. Nice. So it took th that token shop, it does take a little bit longer to gather the EX tokens for. Cause it, what was it like? Like 10, 20 daily uh, Cactor medals, right? For one EX token. I think it takes like almost two months to gather 10. <clears throat> but at least it's free. So my global players, right? If you're a huge Final Fantasy VII fan, be sure to save a lot of gems for this month because this was a Final Fantasy 7 filled month. We got Sephiroth with his LDM burst. We got Reno, who's, who's a pretty good character. We got Rude, who's a bruiser, healer, pseudo tank-like character. He's not a tank, he's just got, it's, it's in his aura. And then, of course, this is not confirmed, right? But this is not confirmed. But potentially Cloud's LD and Burst coming up. You know? Maybe, maybe Rem felt like trolling us. Like, ha, huh, I'm going I'm to play a sick April Fool's Day on, on everybody, right? I, oh, crap. What if it is an April Fool's Day? Oh, no. Could that be the case? Wait, how many days until April 1st? Oh crap, I gotta look up my calendar now. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in five days, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. The the 30th. Okay, March 30th, March 31st, give or take, if it's UTC time or not. Okay, so it shouldn't be an April Fool's Day joke, right? It shouldn't. But, um, yeah, save, save them gems if you are a hardcore Final Fantasy VII fan because I am just getting by. <clears throat> now, the plan here is for 
for me to go broke with my gems over on the LD and burst for Cloud Banner when it does come out. And if we have any resources left, maybe I'll hold on to my, my gems, but I'll keep using tickets here. If we don't get his LD, Rude's LD. Because they're throwing so many Final Fantasy VII characters at us, and with the remake being next month, I'm concerned that they're going to throw maybe some more Final Fantasy VII characters at us. So uh, I don't want them to, like, all of a sudden bring in Nanaki and me not have at least, like, 300 plus tickets, right? Or what's his face? Uh, Sang or Elaine? Some other tur Turks? Or even Rufus Shinra? I wouldn't mind Rufus Shinra. He does fight. You fight him in Final Fantasy VII. He has a doggo with him. So, like, pseudo... Pseudo Shadow, right? Shadow Interceptor. The model's already in there. Just, just use that. Make Rufus Shinra use Interceptor. So, that, that would be interesting. Okay, there we go. I know some people in my Discord already got uh, Rude's Haldi weapon. But I guess to be fair, they were up earlier than I. I'm looking forward to, to the um, Lufenia stage. Because the three, there's like the, the three bosses, they got the mask. They remind me of, of the, uh, the fight with with uh, Yuffie's dad from Final Fantasy 7. So if you guys haven't played Final Fantasy 7, there's uh, there's kind of like a side quest, a side thingy where you go to Wutai, where Yuffie is from. And you gotta do this whole side mission, long story short, she steals your material, you get it back, blah blah blah, and then you gotta climb up some kind of like tower-like thing fighting off different bosses as Yuffie Sol, and then you fight her dad. But he looks really Cool, he transforms into a monster. I don't know the proper name, but it's he's got like like four. He's got like a block looking thing on his head and he turns his face and there's like different faces on each side. It's 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 intense and that's what these little dudes remind me of the the rude bosses. I seriously thought it was going to be like Yuffie's dad, but nope. That's what it reminds me of. So it was really interesting. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Okay, Power Stone. I guess I wouldn't mind another Turk. To have a full Turk team? That'd be awesome. Right? You got Rude, he's your healer. Your bruiser, healer, pseudo, pseudo tank. Reno, who actually does some good damage, got some, he's got some delays built in, into his kit. And then you could have like Elaine, maybe like um, she's like a pseudo nice attacker slash support type character. Or uh, Sang could fill the same role. And that that would be really cool. And that's it for the Turks, right? Only four come to mind. I, I didn't play Crisis Core. I vaguely remember before Crisis. I know there was like some mobile mobile games, right? That kind of followed followed like Nanaki or Nanaki was in it. I didn't play those. That this was like back in the day, so I'm not sure about any additional Turks. <clears throat> hmm. And I actually thought that um, Rude was going to be a full-on bruiser tank-like character. He, he just, he, he, he looks the type, right? Bodyguard, 
uses his fist so there, there's like the the bruiser part and the bodyguard just being the the tank like qualities but honestly he, he seems to to fill this role out quite nicely so sure <laughs> why not <clears throat> all right guys mm-hmm Okay, another limit break. I was about to say, come on, we should be getting a should be getting a gold anytime soon. No ex weapons though. Not a single ex weapon. Not Yuffie's, not Lana Reigns or or Rubes. I am curious if I guess not more. I guess it's not a question of if. It's more of a question of when they will let us somehow acquire resources to potentially gather LD weapons for free because this game has been doing an excellent job at that. Alright guys, 100 more tickets, right? We're just we're just burning through these and if we don't get Rude's LD there, then nice. Then we will call it an end because I want to save a good chunk of tickets for, for potentially Cloud. And I lost my train of thought. Oh, so, so in this game, they they're making it so we can't acquire, like that. That's in quotes. Like these, all these weapons for free. Okay, it takes time, but you can't get weapons for free. Fifteen CP weapons there for every new. Character, you're given their 15 CP weapon for free. 35 CP weapons with those power tokens, weapon tokens, get them for free. Same thing with 15 CP weapons. EX weapons. We have EX tokens. Even Burst have their own tokens. Now, for free to play players, that's going to take much, much longer. But you can still get a burst for free, given that you're able to take on the challenge stages. So when will we be able to get LD weapons for free? So I'm not gonna lie, I would love Kurosami's LD weapon. That's that's the LD weapon that I I I, I didn't get, unfortunately. And I could I could use I could use his LD weapon for them stacks. For more HP damage up. <clears throat> so be sure to let me know down below in the comments. If you were able to pick an LD weapon for free. Who would it be? Who would it be? Let's, let's see. Let's see who's hung around this long. And just didn't decide to skip. And decided. Hey. Timestamp. of blah, He got it here. I'm going to delete that shit. Stop ruining it for everybody. All right, there we go. Because I know some people enjoy this process. Some people like listening to things. I've been told, like, hey, man, like I put on your your video on my way to work. Hey, cool. Thank. It's like a mini podcast, I guess. Some people are working. They just put it on. Thank you guys for, for, for tuning in. I, I greatly appreciate you guys. And then you get that one impatient person. Hey, he posted it at me, 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 and me, me, milliseconds, bruh. You're ruining the the anticipation. Sorry, I am done venting. Still no. <laughs> I was about to say, still no ex weapons or anything, but there it is. There is his EX weapon. We just got it. Uh, oh, that's exciting. Now, okay, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> so we're, we're still going to go down to 300 tickets, right? Because if we could get more limit breaks for this, that's going to be awesome. I just want to see how badly I want his LD weapon. And 
It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem game-breaking. His LD. Kind of like other LD weapons. I guess I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm reading this. There's, I mean, more attack and critical hit rate by 100%, right? So he's going to be critting all the freaking time. There's an additional way to heal. It doesn't seem like it's mandatory just from, from reading this. I mean, yes, of course, character LD weapon, they get additional uses. This has four additional uses? Whoa, is that a first? I'm going to have to look into that. You can use his LD four times. But it doesn't seem like it's necessary is what, what I'm saying. So, I mean, if we get it, it's a huge, huge bonus. Huge bonus. Which I hope we do get it. <clears throat> Just as I was saying, damn, no EX weapons yet. The game says, here you go, Lids. Have Roots EX weapon. All right, guys, so we're down to the last 50 tickets. Can we get Roots LD weapon? That'd be amazing. I'll, I'll max him out. Sure. Why not? I already have all of uh, Cloud's gear, of course, except his LD and Burst. So I don't need to invest ingots. I don't need to invest a book because he's been done since, since his EX weapon came out. Nope, never mind. Speaking of Cloud... <clears throat> Oh, I guess also. Oh, this is great. This works out nicely, actually, because hear me out, guys. We're pretty much near the end of the month, right? One more week. Next week is going to be mid mid week is going to be the end of the month. And we should be getting the infiltration report to see who is coming out the following month. So if it's not a another Final Fantasy seven character or another favorite, then I probably will come back here and see if I can acquire Rude's weapon. But it's gonna suck because now it's like, shoot, should I, should I work on him then? Should I max him out? Should I wait? Am I gonna, am I gonna suffer through his Lufenia stage? I'm not calling it Luna Frania anymore. <laughs> so. Maybe I will have to wait. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Finally, we see a, a freaking a gold orb. It only took like what? Like 100 tickets? So. LDR, Land of Rain. Ugh, I'm just kidding. I I'm okay with Yuffie. I'm fine with Yuffie. Okay. I mean, EX, EX weapon. Probably sell it off. Why not? But that was our first gold orb. I wouldn't mind another burst. Another set burst. Sell it, right? I do have a dupe Kefka burst weapon. So if I do get another burst, that's 10 burst tokens. Sure. I think I'm at like 30 burst tokens just from the challenge stages. So we're almost there. I don't know who I would pick though. I guess I would once I get my the full 50 burst tokens and depending on the characters out at the time. I'll take a peek. Alright guys, so 18 tickets left. Can we get Rude's LD weapon? Like I said, it doesn't seem mandatory. He, he'll, he raises his attack. He heals 100% AoE. Is that 100? Yeah, 100% HP damage dealt. Healing. Huge potencies, but it doesn't do anything game breaking for him. Like, there's no buff that's like attack, make make him attack three times in a row or get free abilities, right? Like, other characters that does that for their kit, it's, it's nice to have, but again, doesn't seem mandatory. Let me. Nice. Let me know what you guys think about that. 
down below in the comments. <clears throat> Sure. At least, at least give me their EX weapon. That'd be nice. That'd be, that'd be a nice bonus, truth be told. Because I don't even have their EX weapon over on, on Global. Nope. I thought that would have been something. All right, guys, last three tickets. And we'll, we'll let the last one play out. Game, th this would be an amazing way to close off the video if you would give me the LD. It'd be a great way to close off the video. <laughs> no, here, have a UV instead. All right, friends, so that is it for this video, friends. That Thank you guys for, for joining me in, in my ticket pulls. I, I don't want to use gems. I want to save my gems. I can probably get maybe 80K by the time in, in five days because that's, again, you guys saw the icon. That is cloud. It's supposed to be cloud. It, nothing set in stone. It's not 100% confirmed, right? It's just a nice little subtle hint. Uh, so we will, we, will, we will see, okay? But I'm, I'm Rem nothing but respect and hasn't really steered me wrong so <clears throat> cloud ld and burst in five days and that's where the rest of my resources will go to and we'll see afterwards how the end how that ends up going i will record that okay so you guys will be with me right y'all you guys will cry with me depend on happiness or, or frustration from the shaft all right friends so that is it for this video friends let me know down below in the comments how you guys did on this banner how was your free multi drive did you guys decide to chase on route or are you guys gonna wait for potentially clouds ld and burst and let me know your overall thoughts on route at the end of the day he, se he seems pretty useful he seems pretty good uh, i'm gonna be trying him out why not Let let's go for it and it seems like he will be a great addition to the party all right friends so again thoughts in the comments and until next time friends good luck and have a good one